Hi, here's some boar news. Boars, specifically boars coming for your children. Even more specifically, 30 to 50 of them. Remember how you laughed, good sir or madam. Did you also laugh when I warned you about this very thing a year ago? Or a year before that? Well, who's laughing now, huh? 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 Not me, because boars are coming for your children. That's why I made this special report called Boars Are Coming For Your Children. Now, just to recap, a previous episode of this show and an episode of a legally distinct version of this show have described in great detail the painfully obvious threat of what began as a single radioactive boar originating from the Chernobyl area, raw dogging, or raw hogging its way through Europe and Asia, only to begin spreading its piggy seed all over the United States of America. It did this, of course, by using its radioactive powers to create a black hole, giving it the ability to teleport. And before you start, no, radiation does not seriously affect the volume of boar sperm. Duh, I checked. We went through all of this, and the fact that this new boar army is absolutely bonkers for radiation. So if this is your first boar video, I seriously encourage you to go catch up. Your life may depend on it. It was all tirelessly handed to you by past Cody in the form of video evidence of multiple boars seemingly appearing from nowhere, such as bursting from the goddamn ocean, as well as countless reports of boars replacing entire dwindling populations. I presented, very calmly and handsomely, evidence that these were most likely Nazi experiments or possibly angry pig mutants originating from nuclear testing of old. I offered solutions, such as a wall, to keep them out. I even gave you very clear-cut evidence that these pigs might possess psychic abilities brought on by the Chernobyl disaster. And yet, no one took action. None of you believed me, despite the overwhelming visual evidence and undeniable fact that radiation mixed with a dwindling population meant that boars would slowly become the dominant species of this planet. I warned you all, and yet we've barely seen any mention of the upcoming boar apocalypse in the mainstream media. Gee, gee, wow, hmm, it's almost as if someone doesn't want you to know the truth. It's, it's, it's almost as if our hard work is being met with deaf ears. And so that's why we're here to turn over that dank rock and see the worms for what they really are. It's time to expose the lies, cuties. But first, since that last video full of the recent boar attack timeline, there's been even more radioactive teleporting boar attacks that I will now recap for you to remind us what we're fighting for. August 28, 2018, a pregnant woman in Pungal is attacked by a wild boar while she was walking to a bus stop. The boar later broke into a condominium, where it was eventually captured. The woman's husband later noted that it was totally unprovoked before it literally attempted to assassinate his unborn child. October 26, 2018! A 48-year-old man is trampled by a wild boar as he walked to work in the city of Fukuoka, Japan. The boar is believed to have approached from a half mile away to carry out his attack, and was later killed by hunters. Meanwhile, mere days later, a student at Kyushu University broke four fingers after his bicycle collided with a different boar assassin. Coincidence? January 3rd, 2019! One dead and ten injured after a group of wild boar suicide bombed traffic in northern Italy causing a massive highway pileup. And if we're not safe in high-speed metal boxes, then where are we safe exactly? Nowhere! March 2nd, 2019! An elderly woman in Tamerlo, Malaysia underwent a seven-hour operation after being attacked by multiple boars after she distracted them from going after her grandchildren. They were going for the kids. June 1st, 2019. 
a member of the People's Volunteer Corps in Malaysia is struck and killed by a wild boar terrorizing a road. A second man is critically injured. This is an attack on a government. July 6th, 2019, Maharashtra, India. A man is viciously attacked on camera as onlookers watch in horror, fully aware that there is just no stopping the swine menace. The Hampton Menace. You wanna f***ing laugh some more, huh? This is business that is serious. Serious business is what this is. You see, we love to sit here on our American thrones and pretend like the problem will never reach us. After all, it appears that, for now, most of the hog news is coming from overseas. In Barcelona, Police logged 1,187 phone calls about murderous boars. The fear that we will soon feel has already reached Europe, as well as China, where wild boar literally walked the streets of Hong Kong, and swine-related police calls rose from 294 to 738 in five years. Look at the size of them. Meanwhile, the people of Rome are literally afraid to bring their children outside because of the rise in boar violence around parks and schools. Parks and schools. The place children go. And, uh... Don't get me started on Russia, you guys. Oh, it's too late because I'm started. I have started on Russia. Because, hey, what in the fresh turkey hell is happening in Russia, huh? There were multiple explosions that the government does not enjoy discussing and appear to involve radiation. The first one was at a military depot in Siberia, aka the natural home to boars. The second one happened only days later in northern Russia and killed seven people and was also accompanied by a huge radiation spike and also maybe had something to do with a nuclear powered missile and also all the nuclear monitoring stations went quiet after the explosion. And also Russia refuses to share any data about the blast which might have to do with secret super weapons is of course what the fake news cover story would have you believe. For the truth, you have to go all the way back to September 29th, 1957, when the Kishtim Plutonium Processing Plant exploded, contaminating a large chunk of Russia and causing a then secret evacuation of the area. It was the third largest nuclear disaster in the history of the world, still affecting parts of Russia, and no one talks about it, which is, which, which is weird. Because it just so happens that, beginning in the 60s, the population of boars in and around Russia began to skyrocket for, uh, some reason. This swineful bone fest lasted until the 1980s, when it briefly leveled out before suddenly skyrocketing a second time in the 1990s. And gee, 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 gee. I wonder what else happened in the late 80s. Hmm, how weird. Almost as weird as how we're getting a brand new rise in boar right after the second worst nuclear disaster in 2011. Are your eyes open yet? So, is Vladimir Putin secretly a boar? And is this why we're getting these mysterious spikes in radiation? It's a very good question, but surprisingly, the answer is no. The much more realistic theory is that Putin has been accidentally locked into an alliance with the rising boar population due to his quite public love of tigers. Putin has, over the years, worked hard to save the Siberian tiger from extinction, and in an interview has outlined that the main solution is to introduce natural prey into their environment, specifically boars. This means that while these radioactive Siberian snout demons are a terror, they're also vital in bringing back another species that Putin loves. This gives the swine leverage over him, which in turn gives him swine leverage over another world leader, a guy I uh, think you might know. Secret hog war, boars in America, and therefore your backyard and possibly right behind you as you watch this video, look out for boars. Now that I've blown your minds with news from overseas, it's time to face the bleak reality here in the States. A reality that, when you were warned about from this honest patriot living in Arkansas, you all laughed at. Way to go. Way to laugh at this man in Arkansas, 
a state that is, as we speak, being overrun by feral hogs, and might even be completely hogs by the time we release this video. This is a rice field. Spots that you see are damaged from hogs. A crop duster captured the mess left behind from the hogs. It's just unbelievable how much they had damaged. And you can see where they turned these soybean crops into a buffet. You can see in the roads where they come in at night and waller around, make holes, tear stuff up. By all accounts, this toothpick state is ground zero for these violent soy boys, and yet we dare mock someone trying to protect their children? Who are the real animals here? The answer is the boar. The boar are the real animals that are coming for your children. Because again, we love to cluck our fat tongues and proclaim that this would never happen to us. Meanwhile, the United States is being quietly filled up by an army of Wilbers starving for our American spawn. You think this shit is cute? It's exactly what they want. And Arkansas is just one state. We're seeing this all over the country. In Trumbull County, Ohio, residents are currently battling a boar influx. Down in Florida, a 400 pound hog was captured near a school bus stop. Because again, they want our children. A year after that, another 350 pound hog was found not five miles away from the first one. In Missouri, they have so many goddamn hogs that they have to battle them from the sky. Oh, and Austin, Texas might as well be called Borston. Borston, Texas. Be sure to check out the new Rob Bor Rod Piguez film at the Salamo Draft House. Boar pun! And don't think moving to Canada will help you, because Canadian boar are not only a huge problem, but one that's spilling across our borders. They are fing everywhere. Fing. They're 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 fing each other everywhere. And if you're thinking, okay, well, let's all apologize to 30 to 50 feral hog guy and start a nationwide effort to hunt these creatures down. Well, guess what? Hunting doesn't work and in fact makes the problem worse. Along with our crops and in time children, these creatures feed off of our aggression, meaning that the only thing we can really do is capture and contain, assuming they don't teleport from our grasp. And even the non-mutant hogs, average about 200 pounds, run 30 miles per hour, can jump three feet in the air, and are extremely adaptable. Also, it really doesn't help that they are being secretly helped by some of the most powerful people in the world. The same people who don't want you to watch this very video you are watching! Underground boar conspiracy? Much? Look, there is definitely an underground network of A-list celebrities, possible Nazi scientists, and political figures that are secretly helping this boar enemy. Why else would we have actually tried to nominate a pig president in the 1960s? As some kind of, like, political statement? Grow up. Now obviously, there are a few misled individuals out there who are simply unaware of the boar threat and will inevitably be forced to repent when the dust settles. And when the time comes, we should absolutely show them compassion. These are people who want to protect the boar and inadvertently create prop borganda for the enemy at every turn. Their hearts are in the right place, but their brains have underestimated the full scale of the borvasion at hand. But then there are the more seemingly nefarious stories, like these farmers recently jailed for smuggling boar semen in shampoo bottles. Who put them up to this? Who stands to gain the most from harboring pigs across international lines? Is it boar who stand to gain? This news dude thinks yes. Farmers and scientists appear to be the biggest offenders in this quiet push for boar supremacy. At first glance, you would assume it's for the purposes of creating a better pork. But then, why in the hell is this happening? That bebop in training you see is a genetically modified double-muscled mutant pig being bred in Cambodia. According to Newsweek, we don't really know how they are being created, or why. But of course, I think we all really know the answer to that. 
Meanwhile, China is creating genetically modified low-fat pigs that can better survive cold climates. And in Scotland, they're creating a breed of swine that is immune to disease. This is literally the starting point for Planet of the Apes. The creation of cold and disease-resistant swole super pigs is 100% what will lead our world into certain oblivion. That and climate change. Which is helping their populations thrive! So it's like the number one reason we need to be worried about genetic experiments and climate change. So that, that's, that's the scientific and farming side of these hog aiders who brazenly exist within our society and can easily be identified. What is far more dangerous are those who lurk without any media coverage or news of any kind. Something I will now demonstrate with, with a news article about them. Prepare yourselves, for Boar Island is real! Not a week before we recorded this video, the website for W Magazine bravely put out an expose on the so-called Pig Beach, an island in the Bahamas that has welcomed powerful celebrities and political influencers for decades. The name is quite literal, as back in the late 90s, several Y2K preppers brought a group of pigs to this remote location in the event of societal collapse. Over the years, the swine have run loose, probably taking control of the entire island. Since then, they've hosted many Kardashians, as well as a handful of fashion models and internet influencers, all of whom are completely at the mercy of the surly, snouty occupants. Let's see. But it's not all pig attacks. I mean, it usually is. Including this time, where one of the Fire Festival founders got bit square on the balls by a pig. Something that, you know, we should all take a moment to really savor. But it's not all attacks, nor is it just the vapid celebrities going to this island to get their sacks munched. Don't believe Cody? Look who else has been to this pig island. Yep, that is Donald Trump Jr having some kind of private meeting with what I can only assume are the leaders of this tiny swine nation. What did they talk about? How long did the meeting take place? And why has no one in the Trump family addressed this? Was his ball sack also ravaged? Is that why we've never seen Donald Trump Jr. scrotum? Hashtag release your scrotal records. We need answers fast, because someone is already beginning to cover their tracks. Thanks to a series of mysterious pig deaths on the islands, which happened conveniently out of sight from any security cameras or supervision, I f***ing dare you to call me paranoid! So to recap, there is an international cabal of powerful world leaders and influencers who are clearly helping a rising pig revolution, a new boar order who have extorted them into providing swine-empowering radiation and genetically enhanced Hulk bodies, all of which centralize around this one mysterious luxury island. It's all right here in this 4chan post I found, just staring us in the face. What is seemingly a harmless board joke is actually a multi-level code. Take all of the uppercase letters and assign them a numerical value based on their place in the alphabet. Then add them together, and you get the number 109. Do the same with every first letter of each word, and you get 90. Average those together, and you get 99.5. Round that up, you get 100, which happens to be the sum you get when adding the coordinates for Pig Beach, baby! Not to mention that the last sentence, charges at you, clearly stands for C-A-Y, AKA K, AKA an island of boars. Oh, are you still not convinced? How about what happens when you take the first letters of the only capitalized words, S, C, W, and add those together? You get 45, as in the 45th president of the United States. You know, the guy who cut funding for the USDA at the height of their battle with boar? It's right there, people! Come on, slurp my big red pill! Speaking of pills, buy ours. They're sawdust. But what do we do? Obviously, we keep demanding the truth. I don't know, maybe, maybe we start a, a Kickstarter that'll send me to this exotic beach island to get to the bottom of some things. And, and a few other islands. And maybe a cruise. 
But also, we need to vote out the leaders who are clearly pro-Boer. Leaders like Donald Trump, who obviously knows more than what he's letting on. Then we take on Putin after that. Specifically, and only, because of this pig stuff. This is, this, this is the main reason to do this. Finally, if we can't kill the boar, we might want to take their own method and use it against them. We need a permanent boar island, as suggested by a district councillor in Hong Kong not too long ago. Every country can have their own. And since there are around 5 million wild boar in the United States, we'll need an island that can handle all of that and more. Like, like if we bought like Greenland for the boar. Yeah, 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 okay. Vote for whoever says they're gonna buy Greenland. And then we can all rest a little easier and ensure a future that is safe for our children and grandchildren. Good job, everybody. But especially me, Cody. The rainforest is on fire. The rainforest is on fire on purpose. What's up, everybody? Thanks for watching our 50th episode. Wowee! Make sure to like and subscribe and comment and all the YouTube stuff that you can think of. And check out our podcast, Even More News, and our Patreon.com slash Some More News if you'd like to support us. And we have a TeePublic slash user slash Some More News for merchandise. And I love you. <laughs>